lately, that starving artist thing, um, it's real. And this is a true story that I actually went through and um, wanted to share with you. This is to the Wawa general manager who caught me stealing, a poll. I wanted to apologize. You see, you followed just seconds too late behind me as I pulled away in my 14-year-old dented car. Your damning eyeballs bore hard into my windshield. You see, if looks could kill, I'd be a goner. Your pristine uniform and clean shade told me that you were an authority figure that was all sorts of angry. You follow rules. I broke them. If only you knew how broken I've become. I wanted to say I'm sorry, but you wouldn't understand. You see, when you look at me, all you see is a thief. A miserable cheapskate who didn't feel like paying for a sandwich. I wish you knew that sandwich was my first meal in days. The nagging in my stomach had become nothing less than a riot. My hands became looting instruments ready to play out this hunger game. I wish you could hear the grumble in my belly as it sings me to sleep, or the way my fiancé weeps as her health fades because there's not enough income to keep her pain at bay. What would you have done? We seem to understand stealing a loaf of bread, but when we see it in action, all we do is pass judgment instead. You probably wished me arrested. Truth is, I'd be better fed in prison. At least there, meals are guaranteed, unlike 24 agonizing hours wondering, when will we eat? You see, my food stamps hadn't cleared yet. Some glitch or delay, and here it is, 10 plus days into a month without food. Social services plays roulette with rulings over a class of people who just want to feed their families. I was born hungry, but apparently not free. If only you could see how all of my life's priorities have taken a back seat to the simple act of eating. Try thinking about fun when you're chronically fatigued from malnourishment. I imagine you're back at work fuming, thinking I'm some pirate laughing as I enjoy my spoils. Meanwhile, the sandwich was split between me and my significant other. Inadequate calories, enough to satiate until the sun goes down and the pangs ring out again. My sonar stomach crying out in search of food met with an empty echo. You probably hate me. Blame me for the situation I am. It's not in your problem. You have a job to do. But I wish you had a clue. Look deep into a social microscope that didn't condemn me, but actually allowed you to see people starving before your eyes in your own community. I'm sorry I made you mad, but I was too hungry to care what you think. And while some people would say that I'm justifying stealing, I go, how do you justify an employee whose wage is so low they qualify for welfare? Where's the justice when it's just us at night drinking enough water so we hope it floods, drowns, suffocates sensations that don't understand why a basic need can't be met? Do you know what it is to be hungry? To have cobwebs in your wallet? Do you know what it is to swallow your pride and compromise your beliefs all so you can have something to eat? Try it for one week. Scrounge change and run away as you underpay and pray the cashier can't count pennies fast enough to notice the missing difference. Try showing your face when circles have you looking like shameful raccoons, a starved animal with eyes deep purple like bruises, as injured as my morals. People call me trash for thinking of quick check dumpster as a food pantry stash, but what would you do? What would you do?